Here's how I like to teach introducing the sine and cosine graphs by introducing the big ideas of where their knowledge can take them. This is what we call an active noise cancelling headset. It electronically cancels noise that comes from the outside. And on that flight, the mathematics was done to prove that this could exist. On Dr. Pose's page, students see the sort of graphs that they're going to be analyzing during the lesson. When I returned, I gave those mathematics papers that were done on the flight to our engineering. That's the beauty also, to be able to sit down with a pen and a pencil and prove that you can do something 10 years later is really nice because once you know you can do it then you have the heart to spend the effort the time the money that's necessary to produce it. Once students have been inspired by the big idea to have the heart effort and motivation to pursue the knowledge we then have really useful software like GeoGebra applet here that displays how that relates to the unit circle which is described by triangles from where they've seen sine and cosine before and we can see the height changing as the wheel goes round and our position on the Ferris wheel changes and we can link that to a coordinate point on the graph and we can show the values of those coordinates as numbers and then we connect the height to that point from the Ferris wheel to the graph and then we can scale this 50 meters to become equivalent to one unit and so have a regular sine curve that perfectly plots the changing height and the same for the cosine graph and then students can experiment by themselves to see how the coefficients of that sine curve affect the shape of the graph to try and model that onto the snake that's hiding below. So technology allows them to experiment, to discover, to explore the mathematics for themselves. The big idea gives them the motivation to want to and technology again allows a very clear conceptual visualization of the mathematics.